you see in the U.S. at the moment, and reflecting again upon the fact that most of the people in the room are from big companies. Yes. Right? So what are you seeing? And you mentioned that point around volume. Of yes. Content. What else you seeing or understanding from the shift how big businesses are approaching marketing? Because it tends to be in the Middle East, we're a bit behind. Let's be honest. And it's good for us to get an understanding of what will impact us here. Well, it's interesting, right? Because if you look in the Middle East, and you know the the on the outrageous levels of consumption on YouTube, Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram should speak to this market being ahead in a lot of ways or the e-commerce capabilities of the next decade. I know that's a little less for maybe this group, but obviously as you evolve. So I think in the US, and I, I, I assume it's the case here, as people start allocating more money to digital, my concern is they're allocating it to bad digital. So a lot of times people will come up to me and be like, Gary, great news, I saw you in 2012 and we've moved to 60% digital and then when I, back to why I want to have breakfast for four hours, when I unpack it, of that 60%, 80% is because they built an internal DSP and they're spending 80% of their money of that 60% on programmatic pre-roll banner ads and, and, webs- and banners on webs- I mean websites. And, 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 and the only KPI is the cost of the CPM. They're incentivizing their media agencies to drive down the cost of the CPM and they're bonusing them on hitting. Guys, $3 CPMs outside of Instagram and Snapchat right now is garbage. It means you're getting nothing. It means nobody's seeing it. And so what I'm seeing in the US is a shift to digital, unfortunately to digital that I think is even worse than TVC. And that's why you're seeing so much disruption. You know, a lot of people are allocating their money and their creative to places where eyeballs aren't, but they're supposed to be based on reports that are incentivized to have you spend your money there. What about from a consumer? Things that matter to an end consumer if you look at behavior throughout the world. Utility or escapism? Something that entertains somebody or something that brings value? If you look at all your phones right now and look at the apps on your front screen, I promise you they fall into either one of those two categories. A utility or something that entertains you. And so, you know, one thing we're seeing is that people are running away from ads. I think we all understand that. I I think the question becomes, how are best practices being evolved? So for example, one thing that we're fascinated by, here's a little secret, um, not in Facebook's best practices, it's funny, the media side of Facebook loves me because I just believe it's so underpriced. Uh, on both Facebook and Instagram, but the creative shop who is not as happy with me because I think best practices are wrong because I think the best practices are pandering to reports to show brand lift studies. I don't think you should show your logo in the first three seconds. I have unlimited data on sales and actual business results that shows you that's a bad idea. I also think length. We are producing so many two to four minute videos for Facebook and YouTube while everybody talks about shorter and shorter You can make a very bad six second video, you can make a remarkable three minute video. I think on the creative side, the thing we're seeing that's fascinating is people will watch four minute videos if you make something remarkable. And so, you know, it's very, it's the the level of common sense that I bring to the conversation is very important to me. You know, again, I always say, make pretend we weren't in this industry. If you make a four minute video that is actually good, and interesting, it's far more likely they'll see that than a 15 second commercial that just talks about the price of something or you know, an ad. You, you mentioned about how much of the content is actually made for utility or how much of it is actually made for ourselves, right? How much is made for them or for yourselves? Yeah. I think utility and entertainment can be made for them. I think that if you look at a lot of the communications in this room, I'm sure if you were to self audit, you'd be surprised how much is self-serving. <laughs> 